okay sir so good afternoon all so we are uh, starting our, uh, the today's session so now i am br just uh, briefing out about the gset the gujarat uh, graduate school of engineering and technology of gujarat technological university is affiliated to the aictc and uh, gtu university and under the graduate school of engineering uh, we have started the computer disciplinary with the specialization of cyber security course in uh, year 2017 and uh, we have started the post graduation course in electronics and communication with the specializations of mobile communication and network technology in year 2018 and uh, both the intake is a uh, 30 students so this is the sixth webinar under the graduate school of engineering and technology and uh, now i am not wasting too much time i am just uh, read the brief profile of of our uh, today's expert so dr saurav roy sir has received his mtech degree from the national institute of technology agartala india in the department of electronics and communication engineering he has completed his phd degree from uh, national institute of technology nit silchar he is currently working as an assistant professor in the department of ece viit visakhapatnam india and uh, he is the author more than 20 re reputed journal and conferences and uh, he is also the reviewer of the international journal of the rf and, and cad iet communications applied physics letter and i class his uh, research interest including the material antenna mimo antenna and wearable antenna so i request uh, saurav sir to start the sessions over to you sir okay sir thank you sir for your nice introduction so that is the second time we are presenting the lecture in gtu last time also maybe before one month back am i audible sir yes sir you are audible okay so last month back we given some introduction about recent trends in antenna so thank you raj sir you welcome you give my brief introduction and welcome and also you give second chance to speak in front of you people or in front of great audience of gtu and other also some other parts so today we'll discuss about some wearable antenna so in front of wearable antenna in terms of antenna is a device you know people know which transmit or communicate from one point to the another point or one place to the another so it is the heart of the communication so in the last we have seen whenever we will see the last decade or two three decades so there are so many changes in the communication area so the, we have seen the communication is nowadays we are using communication uh, in every aspect in our daily life in our uh, commercial application and so on and never did the application necessity of devices which increases okay so now let's come to the this platform wearable platform so we will see so what are the wearable antenna and others okay so first we start from wearable technology so introduction wearable technology is means it is integrated with our human life so now you have, now you have seen so many devices are integrated to uh, calculate our pulse rate and other things you have seen some uh, watches mobile devices and also as there are so many things which are integrated with the human body or to calculate the different things or to measure the different human parameters so the things come under we can use in military services fire department medical application etc but the problem is whenever things comes under so we try to integrate the things in wearable environment means if we design the antenna also in wearable uh, environment like wearable substrate that wearable cloth and material and also integrated it body then we can as per our requirement we can change the things so wearable technology in military services fire department medical application etc the antenna requirement in wearable technology is quite different to the conventional counterpart because bending and human body affect the antenna performance 
okay so we try to design the wearable antenna by using wearable substrate so first whenever you see any antenna or design of any antenna so the first part is the important of substrate which substrate they are using so there are two different types of substrate one the type of normal conventional substrate like a for poor material or whatever the substrate used in your mobile phones and others that play uh, that is basically a for poor pcb those things and other things whenever in wearable substrate we have seen the bending or other human body effect is okay because where wearable substrate if we are, we are using in human body then uh, human body at different leg hand uh, our head has different dimension so all the things those are the design constraint or which should think design issue and others now another point comes bending issue because our human body leg head and other things different bending in different position is there so those things we should consider or do we should uh, comes we should think about the things uh, before going to the design so one thing is you can use the wearable substrate or you can use the normal substrate and you can place the human body now but in our uh, lab in nit silchar we have designed one uh, calculate the diameter or different things parameter of the wearable substrate like jeans material we also calculate some other substrate also whatever we are using that cloth that is pink uh, and uh, pink uh, then jeans uh, pink color uh, cotton then other things silk we measured this so we found that so different things the parameter will be changes so now we'll see what are the things so that is a, our measurement setup or material analysis setup so here we find out the measurement dielectric material properties of the jeans substrate so those are the measurement setup vector network analyzer computer and among them that is dielectric assessment kit for measuring the dielectric property means dielectric property means we measure its dielectric constant dielectric loss factor conductivity and loss tangent of the jeans in the certain particular frequency range 1 to 7 gigahertz or based on our frequency range the property we have seen the property of dielectric property is changes of the substrate so whatever the substrate available in the market every substrate has different dielectric constant or different dielectric parameter because the uh, um, production of that particular subject as uh, substrate and other things which material they are using which in which percentage and other things those are changes based on the material so we measured things and we found that its uh, permittivity in the range of 1.8 in 2.4 gigahertz ranges so next we design we basically we use that particular substrate and design that antenna okay so our substrate is jeans substrate and we are using the microstrip patch monopole type patch antenna in that particular substrate so substrate per permittivity is 1.6 and height is 1 mm that is the substrate height which is jeans thickness okay so we measure simulated those things in s11 parameter by using different parameter variation p equal to 22 23 24 25 26 that is the dimension of that p3 okay so actually there is a small error so it should be p3 so p so that one is we buried for different things for 22 23 24 25 and we for different height also so antenna 1 is a height equal to 1 mm antenna 2 is 1.5 mm antenna 3 is 2 mm and we'll see at 2 mm or if thickness is more then bandwidth of the antenna is increased another thing what is s11 it means that how much power is reflected back okay so it should be as low as possible so for our consideration purpose we are taking minus 10 db so if minus 10 db s11 is there then antenna will radiate in that particular band okay so here antenna is working in two different band one is lower band and another one is upper band so that banded radius from 5 to 6 and another one is cover 2.4 gigahertz okay so so we also measure the gain in the three different height 1 1.5 and 
2 mm and we found that antenna shows good gain in all the ranges in lower frequency as well as higher frequency okay because lower frequency gain is uh, that is near about 2 dB positive gain in higher frequency also gain is very good okay so so we already mentioned that that monopole directional pattern monopole pattern of antenna will seen so it radiation pattern for different frequency we simulated 1.8 5.5 and 5.8 as well as 5.2 so those are the e and h plane radiation pattern whenever antenna radiates so we should measure in which direction it is radiated more in which direction it is radiated less so those we can identify for different coordinate system theta equal to 0 to 160 so variation of those things so electric field and what is its magnetic field so we can show that in different frequency its radiation is omnidirectional radiation pattern almost means in all direction it radiated almost same. okay now next part whenever we come to the wearable or wireless situation i already mentioned the bending effect will so that's why so characterization of that antenna with different bending so we are mentioned so we bend that particular antenna and then we analyze its different parameter okay so first we'll see the s parameter we have mentioned so for different bending we measured it or simulated it r equal to 30 mm r equal to 60 r equal to 105 r equal to 205 as well as without bending what are the different changes is happened there okay so we found that if it is bended more means if radius is less then the particular subtract antenna is bended more so if it is bended more then the uh, bandwidth is deteriorated means when you see that black color r equal to 30 mm so it is not covering that particular band so earlier case whenever we will see without bending so it covering that wide range of frequency this one as well as that particular one 5 to almost 6.6 .6 or 6.8 gigahertz but whenever we see the black color one so due to different bending the bandwidth is deteriorated or we are getting less bandwidth okay so that is the main issue or major issue whenever variable condition we okay so whenever we'll see whenever we'll design the variable antenna so you should, you should it should be keep in your mind that the particular band the antenna should be covered wide or white band properties it should be shown okay then only whenever in bending and other condition will come so it can overcome those situations okay so now another part of the human body model whenever because we are using we want to use that particular antenna for human body consideration for human body model so human body so there are those are the model different model is available in HFS is high frequency structure simulator that is the antenna design software as well as yes. microwave studio okay sir. so the model is available in the uh miss HFS actually uh, presentation uh, okay okay i'll add it Last slide, which one, sir? That. Uh, yes, sir. That. Okay. Yeah, please. Now, oh, yeah, sir, now it is visible. Okay. So, whenever we see the human body model, those are the different model is available in high frequency structure simulator. Okay. So, that is the male, as well as there are two different versions is also available male female okay so you can do analysis in different range also okay uh, as well as they are giving some different components like male body uh, torso head uh, hand so different parts is also available so you may ask why different parts because whenever we will consider the whole body then the ram of the system should be requirement very high okay so that's why uh, they are given small part also uh, like hand torso legs um, 
had different parts also available for male as well as female and you can do the analysis so basically they are doing all those things particularly ftdd method and others okay so those are the available things so another things if you don't have any ram that much uh, then you can uh, use that cell model also but cell model uh, the different parameter also there for cell model uh, that uh, small rectangular cross section we have seen so those are the different parameter for skin fat muscle and bone so permittivity conductivity and density is given but whenever you will use that cell model so there is small issue is there what about the material properties of human body that is given at 2.45 gigahertz so whenever if you want to use in higher frequency then there will be some issue will be there because that whatever they calculated so that is for particular 2.45 gigahertz as well as some papers or some article it is available for 5.2 5.8 but if you will do the analysis for high frequency so that cell model is not applicable because uh, those parameter is not available okay so you can go through that hfss that is also approximation method and you can do the analysis but you need high ram size so we also start analysis using that cell model but we found some difficulty in computer simulation and others so let's that's why we are going to not that phantom model we are directly going to the that uh, skin model and tissue model okay so skin fat muscle bone has different permittivity at that particular frequency so we mentioned all those things in the table so later on we place the antenna above that those layers we are considering and we do the analysis through uh, our simulator okay so we found at that so that is the blue line without body condition so it covering a white frequency band so that frequency band means we consider that minus 10 degree line for calculating the frequency band so it started from 1.8 to almost see you can see that almost 3 gigahertz and another one is it started from 4.8 to almost 6.5 5 gigahertz okay so that is the without body when body you know, those things are not their skin fat muscle bone but whenever the body comes comes in come uh, comes in your context then things is those parameter is changes because now uh, body is a lossy material human body is a lossy material it has uh, whenever uh, you've seen that dielectric permittivity and other values are very high you can see permittivity is 37.9 5.27 muscle so if permittivity is high then losses will be occur so due to that high losses the bandwidth will be decreases you can see that now it's covering from 2.2 to 2.9 as well as uh, 5.2 to uh, 5 is almost 6 gigahertz so you also measure in different position means if gap is gap between body and antenna is 1 meter gap between body and antenna is 2 meter and gap between body and antenna is 3 meter and we also see there is abrupt changes also there because due to the body and others so there are changes also there as well as lawyer and others so those are the constraint if you use 5 meter 4 meter so maybe things come in your mind how can we uh, there is air we are placing so there are some uh, substrate is also available uh, that is for packing purpose we are using now white so those have almost a air dielectric property so you can place um, antenna then that particular white layer foam layer and then uh, you in between them uh, human body place and then the human body then foam layer then antenna layer and then you can measure for g equal to 1 g equal to 2 and g equal to 3 mm what are the different things okay so whatever in measurement we will see so there are two things are come earlier we consider one is panting another one is uh, that human body now in measurement whenever we we'll measure things then both situation will come at a time it's uh, human body as well as, uh, as well as bending so we measured in using vector network analyzer so we found that it simulated and measure conditions so that red one is marked as a measure one so it covers our particular whenever minus 10 degree line you have seen so it there is some mismatch is there but it covers our particular frequency band so 2.4 as well as 5.2 as well as 5.8 gigahertz maybe comes in your mind why we are considering the particular frequency band okay because whenever any application you have seen in mobile devices or wlan or other things so all the all the devices are based on some application means you may know those terms 
whenever he, you are using mobile phones uh, that bluetooth wlan uh, then uh, gsm so those are particular application so those application has particular frequency band is 2.4 gigahertz for wlan 5.2 as well as 5.8 gigahertz for wlan uh, then bluetooth 2.4 ism is also band 2.4 gigahertz so every particular band has some distinct frequency band okay so whenever we will try to design anything any antenna or any device like that um, then we should uh, consider which frequency band we are designing okay so that is the main thing focus whenever you will do anything any work so your distinct frequency band should be come otherwise people can ask which frequency band you are designing so someone are designing at 4.2 want to design 4.2 but there is no particular frequency band at 4.2 means no particular application then there will be no use okay so i am mentioning that is like an example so whatever you want to design uh, to uh, um, for it should be cover some a particular application band so that should keep in your mind okay if it is cover nowadays the people have started working in 5g so 5g also said there is some distinct particular break band so that is covering about 20 to 30 gigahertz as well as some lower particular frame band also 3.5 giga so whenever you will do some work the frequency band should be is an important constant or important terms okay and other things uh, we also measure the gain of the antenna so gain measurement also there is some uh, different issues you can happen uh, uh, there is two antenna method also there as well as horn antenna setup is also there you can measure directly also horn antenna setup so we measured it using two antenna method and we found that antenna gain is also covering lower and uh, higher gain the measure gain also see the measure gain also cover the simulated gain same almost same okay and covers that there is positive gain in lower as well as higher bands okay so next term so that is the different body location we are placing so see the antenna is using by using so that is our uh, we mentioned now that is substrate so that is the gene substrate okay and that is the particular antenna is there okay so we placed in different body location earlier we mentioned that we placed in different body so here also that is hand so that is uh, that is leg that is uh, chest so we using different body position so whenever we will see that uh, leg so here bending is less whenever it is chest so there is no such bending occurs but human body is there in every way and another when we are using that uh, hand so that also here bending is quite more okay so we also measure all those things in different human body locations okay because we try to identify the um, uh, attitude or property behavior of the antenna in the human body situations okay so now see uh, we measured those things and we arranged in a particular way so here we arranged for comparison result of on on body as well as off body conditions for different uh, condition like chest wrist leg and without body so here see whenever you will see those particular graph without body condition it is covering lower band 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5.2 5.8 gigahertz very good way but whenever that uh, the human body as well as bending situation come so there is a band deterioration is there in some cases it covering lower band in some cases it covering higher band also so whenever it is placed in chest so there is no such bending is there so it is covering lower band as well as upper band okay some deterioration is there in the particular band but it has white band when you see the black color line it's covering the good bandwidth but whenever it comes uh, that wrist and leg position then there is some uh, lower band there is some effect is there so due to bending and others we already see that bending that band is affected in lower so here lower band is affected so those are the challenges whenever we will see in the design of wireable antenna those are challenges you people are when people are face so those things keep your keep in your mind so those are the one two three there are challenges first one is the human body then then different position then another challenges is there uh, that is the uh, sar things okay because whenever we will sar is the specific absorption rate so in the for specific absorption rate uh, to identify whenever any device we are using try to using in a human body then it, they sh it, it should be measured the sr or specific absorption rate so it means that 
how much power is absorbed by the human body when exposed to a radio frequency electromagnetic field okay so power absorbed per mass of tissue and its units of watts per kilogram so it is a important parameter because whenever we are receiving the electromagnetic energy those it has non ionizing radiation we are receiving but if it is received continuously near about 1 hour or 1 hour uh, one um, one hour two hours or more than then the energy is converted into heat but if a particular place heat is continuously absorbing then uh, maybe after two three years if you will continue receiving that particular energy of electromagnetic radiation then your body will and there are some changes you will all observe in your human body so those are the uh, so that's why sr uh, is an important tax whenever it comes to the human body uh, then sr value should be as low as possible okay so those things are calculated by we also calculated the human uh, sr analysis for antennas okay so first we'll see so in this uh, article or in this work we did not analyze the sr in our next article we are analyze the specific absorption rate of the antenna okay so those are the things we are seen here human body effect bending analysis okay so now we'll move to the another part so that is also using wearable we are designing some mimo antenna so that is comes under multiple input multiple output antenna so here space diversity is performance and also so why we are going for mimo antenna that is multiple input multiple output so whenever any uh, wave is transmitted from one point to the another point so there is so it may be there are some another obstacle is there or it is reflected from any other another way so there are so many losses is occurs so due to fading and others so to reduce the fading we are using uh, different antenna at a time all antennas property almost similar so in which direction in any particular direction the maximum energy it is received then that particular antenna what we are using enables multiplexing to increase its system capacity okay and minimum the multipath fading so that is the concept of mimo antenna to using multiple antenna at a time okay and increase the performance of the system okay so if any direction if x direction it is high then that particular antenna collect from x direction the radiation bit in y direction if any antenna is uh, given very high means getting very high that particular uh, uh, intensity of uh, receiving signal and that antenna is taking and then uh, the mimo system is taking the maximum amplitude and the function is so so that is a different for them array antenna array antenna gain is enhanced but whenever we see the array antenna the gain is enhanced in a particular direction means in a particular way whenever we will march multiple element at a time and we will get the single feed that is for array antenna concept then the beam all the beam radiated or focus in a particular direction but mimo antenna the beam is not focus in a particular direction it is Uh, for all antenna it covering different dimension at a time so that's why uh, the fading and other effect will be reduced okay and we are getting uh, proper bandwidth so those are the concept mimo antenna so now uh, there are so many not only mimo we are going for some higher mimo application that is called massive mimo so and multiple in about 16 or uh, yeah, 24 or like 64 uh, 32 Yeah, uh, elements are using at a time. So those are the upcoming things. Whenever IoT and other things will come, we need more bandwidth and we need more performance in us. So in a multiple direction, the devices are connected. So we need that MIMO antenna system to covering the. So that's why the importance of that MIMO antenna system is uh, increases day by day. Okay. So we also try in our wearable system if we use MIMO, MIMO. So what are the changes happen and how we can measure? Okay. So first uh, we are that work we have done so with MIMO system. So first we will design a basic antenna. So that those are the different step you can see antenna A, antenna B, and antenna C. So those are the wearable antenna which designed in 1.6 and height. So it's covering wide band. Okay. So whenever it's covering from yeah, so here minus 10 dB whenever you have seen so it covering from my uh, 1.5 to almost 7 gigahertz. Okay. so that is a wide bandwidth it is covered so those are the basic design step of the 
comparable antenna it cover wireless lan dimax and other applications so whatever the application in that particular range 2 to 7 so that it is covered so you may be asked why that multiple slot are introduced okay so whenever we will see the proposed antenna that reflection coefficient in a particular 5.2 or 6 to 6 gigahertz there are the reflection coefficient when is very uh, less minus 20 db or minus 20 near about minus 22 or 24 db so antenna act as a resonator or lcl as a resonator whenever we introduce the slot so we are introducing its value of l and c we know the frequency is 1 by f equal to 1 by 2 pi root or l and c if l and c value will be changes then in a particular point the resonating point the resonating behavior also very good so that's why we are introducing some slot in the antenna to make it more good okay so there may be some disadvantages other parameters also there but at least we are trying to make it as compatible as possible okay so now come to the wireable mean so okay so here we are using here we will see same antenna we are using whatever the antenna c or our proposed antenna so same antenna we are using in a twice okay so dual element so that's why it is called multiple element or multiple input so one feeding is input is there another feeding input is there so that is two input is there so it covering 1.6 and height also we have taken 1 mm okay so antenna works in multiple band dual band other things. so in between whenever we will see that there are some uh, resonator type structure is there in between that two antenna one is yellow that is used in the ground part and that one is blue in the upper part so you have seen two different things are there so those are called uh, those are using as a isolator means whenever antenna elements is there if two elements are work at a time then there will be some uh, uh, its radiation will affect that particular antenna and uh, that second one also affect the uh, radiated beam so electric field so effect of first antenna will be affect the another antenna and second antenna will affect the first antenna so there are should be some interaction will be there to remove that um, electromagnetic interaction between the two antenna we are using some isolator so it is like, just like that uh, if two person is there two person is there when they, they will speak at a time then there should be some uh, interference will be there so in between if you will it will use some border or it will use some this this type of system then whenever for uh, whenever they will speak then uh, there will be interference or noise will be yes. so that's a similar concept we are using some isolator in between mimo antenna to increase the uh, but kept in your our mind that other parameters or property will not change okay so those are the isolator we are using now we'll see what are the different function of that isolator so we measured that antenna 1 and antenna 2 antenna proposed simulated and antenna so we measured this using those particular simulator or particular isolator we measured and covering to 1.2 uh, to almost all particular okay so whenever we will see its gain also so another parameter in mimo it will come that is called transmission coefficient okay so one is reflection coefficient that is s101 and s122 s22 uh, that is two antenna is there so s101 this four antenna s22 will come another one is transmission coefficient it is measured s1 to s21 okay so s1 to miss if antenna one feeding is given then what are the effect in antenna two port so those effect we are considering calculating that is called transmission coefficient so in our antenna we will try to minimize this isolation or sorry maximize this isolation and the value will be minimized okay and we also measure so higher we have seen the value will be transmission coefficient is almost for antenna propose that we have seen the value is almost near about 25 db throughout the ranges so it is a very good thing so never throughout the ranges the antenna and um, and particular any 5.2 we have seen that there is a isolation is achieved near about minus 55 or 60 db which is a very good thing to give, get a good proper thing for a mimo concept okay and we also measure this gain as well as efficiency uh, for particular antenna okay and we found that its gain is almost positive 2.2 db and almost near about 3 to 4 db positive gain in the throughout the overall 
ranges okay so those are the radiation pattern and surface current okay so radiation pattern so already we mentioned in the earlier case also in particular direction how much energy is radiated so we can mention using the radiation pattern now coming to the another point what about the surface current okay so surface current whenever we will see that surface current you can see what are the things are going on if first antenna we are giving for a particular 2.4 gigahertz we are giving some input is there in the first antenna that red part shown the maximum radiation is happen in that particular portion so whenever we will see then that isolator absorb some radiation and there is effect is very less in the second antenna so if those things are not there if that isolators are not there then maximum effect will be there to avoid those effect we are using some this type of isolator to reduce the isolation or to increase the isolation between two element so here we have seen so we are using three particular frequency 2.4 5.2 and 5.8 gigahertz so here from these things we can identify at different frequency also the proper isolation is done okay by using those isolators okay so uh, later on we are going for the higher element configuration we are measuring all those things for four element configuration okay so earlier case we have seen for last case we measured for two element so here we are using four element so that is port 1 port 2 port 3 and port 4 okay but here two different isolation technique is used at a time so you may ask why two different isolation one is that uh, isolation in horizontal direction there are some isolator another things there are another isolation that is called space isolation means uh, in between if space is more then also isolation is more. so y direction we are using that space isolation to reduce the electric field effect or magnetic field effect of that particular antennas okay so those are the geometry as well as uh, we may have fabricated the things using our own manual technique uh, so using this technique we can fabricate those structure and we'll see the result okay so antenna parameters we measured for this particular in between b point we have seen the measurement is done by using our vector network analysis and we measured in different s parameter s11 s12 s13 s14 uh, s23 s22 s34 so you may ask sir why those parameters are there so many parameters because whenever we are going for four port then there are about there are about 16 parameter will come 2 to the power 4 so 16 parameter will come so as so first four parameters are s11 s22 s33 s44 now in between other parameters will come s12 s13 s14 similar s21 s23 s24 s31 s32 s34 like that s41 s42 s44 okay so there are about 16 parameters are there. so we measure those 16 parameters now in the again third point we have seen that is the excel ratio is given so we already mentioned that our um, we, our antenna is also as a polarization antenna so it has our mimo antenna shown polarization in at particular lower frequency and in higher frequency there is it is linearly polarized so whenever polarization terms will come there are two different polarization is going on one is linear polarization another one is circular polarization to measurement the circular polarization you can use two different techniques one is that uh, current patterns circularly at different angle you are checking it is rotated or not another one is axial ratio so it should value should be less than 3 db so that is the our mimo antenna also act as a circular polarized antenna at lower frequency that is 2.4 gigahertz but in higher frequency on our 5 to 6 gam gigahertz so it is actually linearly polarized so you may ask why sir we are going prefer circular polarization others because circular polarization concept are coming whenever the antenna is in phase direction means here radiator are same same phase so there are it uh, Uh, it receives the radiation, uh, receive the energy perfectly. But whenever it is placed like that on 90 degree or any other shape, so there are some mismatch is there for radiation, or we are getting low intensity or low radiation intensity. 
but in circular polarization if antenna is circular polarized then we are covering the maximum position for if it is not in proper way then also it covers it uh, try to uh, uh, cover the maximum radiation that's why we are, people are going for circular polarization concept and till now the work is going on research is going on in circular polarization because the, that uh, concept is very interesting um, to make antenna more circular polarized to go and uh, reduce the uh, increase the performance of the antenna okay so, so these things you can see the 3d radiation pattern of the antenna at 2.4 5.2 and 5.8 gigahertz so here we have seen that we already mentioned that it is not in a particular direction so here in the green portion this red portion shows the maximum radiation and the green portion shows the minimum radiation so due to the isolator and whatever the isolation we are using so minimum radiation is going on that particular other way but in maximum radiation is going on different direction so if that is for only one antenna if all antennas we are covering so they are covering all different almost 360 degree so that's why fading is very less so those are the uh, fading uh, performance we can we can improve its performance so if an uh, array antenna we are using then it will be radiated in a particular direction but in whenever it comes to the MIMO antenna so here in different orientation the uh, uh, radiation pattern we can see so different direction or 360 almost the all direction it is covered whenever we are using multiple antennas at a time. So that is the one of the main benefit of the antenna. Okay. So, and in, uh, in MIMO performance or MIMO antenna, whenever will come, but there are some other parameter also that is uh, called diversity parameter. So we are using the space diversity we are using. So to calculating how much uh, it is related, that is number of correlation coefficient we are using as well as diversity gain, um, as well as total active reflection coefficient, and as well as medium effective. So those are the different parameters we are calculated in the MIMO antenna performance. Okay. So ECC number of so how much uh, means if we are trying to maximum uh, uh, reduce the uh, isolation between uh, sorry increase the isolation between two antenna elements. So if you increase the isolation is good, then ECC parameter will be less than. 0.01 in some cases so there are two OA or two different formulas we are using to measure the ECC one is the far field radiation method another one is the envelope correlation that using S parameter method so S parameter method so we are trying to reduce the things and calculate in using S parameter but if efficiency of the antenna is very high that's near about uh, 90 or 95 percent or near about 100 percent uh, or 96 and more than above 90 percent then then both method will get same result but better you should calculate the uh, ECC parameter by using far field radiation pattern then the value will become more uh, correct or more efficient so whatever the ECC the diversity gain we are using by using the ECC value. the diversity gain will be 10 root over 1 minus ECC value square so it is value is almost 10 okay or 9.98 9.99 like that now coming to the another parameter that is called total epic reflection coefficient so at the different direction orientation we measure so what are the bandwidth of that particular antenna then those things we can calculate using the total f tip reflection coefficient for different so here you will see at 0 30 60 90 what are the different um, angle what are the different bandwidth is calculating using total active reflection coefficient okay so as well as we are calculating its medium effective gain what are the effective gain so th those also we are calculating so here you have seen that ratio of mg1 divided by mg2 so it is near about almost 0 0.1 0 0.2 like that 0 0.3 0 0.4 so it should be that particular range okay so those are the parameters we are using in the MIMO antenna calculation. <laughs> now, in our MIMO antenna, yeah. or where yeah. we MIMO antenna, yeah. we are using yeah. for yeah. wearable performance. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah. so yeah. we are using yeah. air, skin, yeah. fat, muscle, and bone. Yeah.
So earlier we we have seen that last uh, we are using a single antenna and we are considering the human body model. Now we are going for the MIMO concept and as well as we are using the human body model in that MIMO antenna. Okay. So here we will see air, skin, fat, muscle and bone. So we already mentioned skin, fat, muscle and bone. Now we are placing our MIMO antenna uh, in the place of human body and we are analyzing its performance. Okay. Now complexity becomes increases. Okay. Now whenever MIMO terms come, earlier case only single antenna. Now so many things, four antennas at a time as well as isolator as well as human body, as well as bending. So we are considering all the analysis. First, we'll simulate as parameter for on-body condition. So, so that is the simulated as parameter for different uh, S11, S12, S13, S14, S23, S24, S33. So those are the parameters for different um, uh, antennas. Four antennas are there. We are calculating in human body situation. So we seen that the values is slightly reduced. So due to whenever we will see the S parameter earlier case, it's uh, covering almost uh, minus 10 and other good ranges. But whenever we see that this value will be some changes are there. Okay. Okay. Here minus 10 ranges is quite slightly upward because due to the so many parameters are there and it covering minus 60, minus 70 ranges. So it covering our all the band in human body condition also. It is covering, but there is small fluctuation is there by values, but it is covering throughout the ranges, whatever our exact ranges. So it's covering lower point to the higher point. Now coming to the Excel ratio. So whenever the C that Excel ratio earlier case it is less than 3 dB, but now it is not polarized condition. For human body or losses come that circular polarization is not occurs in that particular lower frequency and efficiency also. We have seen that is the that part is efficiency here one means 100 percent point eight point six so efficiency also become reduced due to the human body condition the efficiency become reduced because uh, human body is a lossy dielectric material so here losses is occurred more so due to that efficiency of the antenna is reduced okay so next we come to them so those are the different analysis s parameter as well as acceleration and efficiency okay so next that is the SCR analysis so we did not done in the earlier case but in this case we have done okay the SCR analysis for different frequency okay so here we mentioned that this is the hand model available in available in antenna so why we, we are using hand model uh, because uh, in our system or performance uh, that hand model model we can phantom model we can utilize it because the RAM requirement is very less compared to head and other that's why we choose that hand okay so here we'll see the interesting thing whenever we are placing antenna the SR value also we can calculate okay so SR value so SR value ranges should be it should be less than 1.6 okay watt per kg for a particular frequency that is for different frequency we are calculating 2.4 2.5.2 um, as well as 5.8 gigahertz so we are calculating the SR value. So we have seen the SR value is um, in our operating range. So as per our standard IEEE, so SR value should be less than 1.6. So that's why uh, our antenna also maintaining. So two way you can, uh, if your antenna, if any researcher is done any work in SR and their SR is uh, not uh, come in the particular range. So two way you can reduce the SR. One is, one way is in between you can use the gap so if you in between there are some uh, gap is increases then also because SCR is the human body interaction electromagnetic interaction of the human body or in particular child how much electromagnetic energy is received and how much it is converted in the heat energy those are the things SCR calculation we are seeing so if it is the interaction or gap is more then also you can reduce one SCR in one way another way you can use some other other different techniques like um, uh, meta surface and others. 
So in between antenna and others, we are using meta surface. We are actually meta surface or this particular EVG structure or you have seen, um, you can see. So those structure actually, they, um, whenever it, uh, radiation comes in a particular, in between you will using those particular structure. So it can uh, throw your particular radiation in upper way. So, so that's why there is some um, researcher recently uses some meta surface concept in a particular uh, SAR reducing, reducing. So you those uh, are working in that particular domain or want particular domain you can use those things. So, but our case by using our gap in between we are increasing the gap so the SAR value is less. Okay, so in a particular or, or in a standard way. Okay, so. Similarly, uh, this antenna, whenever <coughs> we are using earlier case, we, are, we have seen that isolator we are using. So those type of isolator we are using, Mendel line type of isolator. So here we are trying some, so for this same type of antenna or same concept or same antenna, we are using, but here we are using some other type of isolator structure. Okay. So those type of isolator structure is called metamaterial or meta surface meta. So here in those isolators, so here we are using, okay. So earlier stage, uh, earlier stage, same antenna, same frequency band, but here isolator structure is different, okay. Almost same antenna, the operating ranges and others are same, but here isolator structure we are using, that meta surface, uh, meta material concept we are using there to increase the isolation in a particular frequency band. So in this scene, so that is the MIMO antenna 2 and 3 and 4, so that is uh, uh, that is a uh, metamaterial structure used in the upper layer patch layer that is used in the ground layer and here using both layer so here we will see that is called memantina 2 3 and 4 so it is covering the lower band that uh, lower band as well as upper band 5 to 6 gigahertz okay so but the problem is there whenever we are using those isolator or meta structure those are working in particular band then we will see seen some mismatch you will found in as parameter because those are trying to reduce your particular frequency or frequency band. So those mismatch, but here uh, the reflection coefficient performance is increasing. So according to uh, my suggestion, however, we will try to reduce those things. So don't exactly, you don't design it in a particular 2.4 and 2.5. Design it slightly in, in 2.3 or 2.5. And then, then S11 performance also be good. And that isolation will be also quite in a standard range. Okay, so here this isolator structure whenever we are using, earlier case it is covering the white frequency band. Now uh, that uh, now we have seen there are changes. So that meta structure based isolator, so it increases the isolation in a particular frequency band. So that is the importance of that particular structure. It increases the isolation 2.4, 5.2 as well as 5.8. Okay, so we already implemented those things. So here we will see those uh, how the isolator structure is work. So that is the surface I current uh, simulated current pattern. So if you, um, how much it affect to the another antenna for different band 2.4, 5.2 as well as 5.8. So you can see, so port isolation is improved due to this particular isolator structure. Okay. So another one, so without if isolator structure, I already mentioned due to the isolator structure, there is some mismatch will found in S11. So those mismatch you can see, Mimantino 1 means without isolator and Mimantino 4 is the proposed isolator structure. So here we can see there is some mismatch is found there in the S11 due to that uh, particular isolator structure is working in a 2.4 gigahertz and it is working matter. So it is trying to remove that particular band also. So there is some mismatch will be there. So that is the design challenges whenever we will uh, use some metamaterial structure for isolating perform performance. So, but here we will see the distinct things is there. So it improved the isolation in a particular band only 5.2, 5.8 uh, as well as uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So that is a particular band, the isolation is improved. Okay. So those things we have done uh, in for particular two element, we are not going for this word for four, uh, four element because mathematical structure already increases the complexity of the work. So that's why we are not trying till now for four element meta surface structure using variable condition. Um, okay. Another problem we are founding that is fabricated antenna because we are doing all those things in <coughs> manually by using our, you know, lab. 
so whenever we'll try to incorporate more things at a time then for this antenna particularly we mentioned near about six seven times we've done fabrication then only we are achieving that final structure okay sometimes uh, we cut that portion particular portion sometimes we face difficulty to cut another portion so finally we achieved this structure fabricated prototype and we measured it so we found that antenna is covering that lower band as well as higher band with some good proper matching as well as good gain also okay and those are the radiation pattern you can see in the radiation pattern in a particular direction it is come because the isolated things will come then it will stop radiated that particular direction but in other direction it will radiate good way because memo antenna on two and four element come you have seen in the 3d radiation pattern so it will cover different uh, angle or different range those antennas so those are the e and h plane radiation pattern at 2.4 as well as 5.2 gigahertz okay so those are the comparison table uh, of that particular what so uh, using that isolator metamaterial type based isolator 2.4 5.2 5.8 gigahertz so isolation announcement near about 10 db so that is an announcement if earlier it is 10 db now it is 20 db okay so like that if earlier it is 10 db now it is 30 db okay so there is good isolation improvement in actually that particular frequency band 2.4 5.2 and 5 so that is the beauty of that particular what but the problem is in whenever wearable situation will come then uh, the minimization and other problem we are facing because we are trying to do it manually so those problem we try to overcome in our future work and future challenges of that particular work we are also trying to reduce our SCR using meta surface and other okay so ECC value is very less that is near about 0 0.04 okay so those are the publication in our lab so not only in that wearable there are some other publication so based on wearable as well as other works so in our lab near about last two three years not only me other sir work is also there or so near about uh, <clears throat> 10 15 publication or near about 10 or 12 publication is work based on particularly wearable or wearable things so there are about two works is published recently and we are also trying to do some work in future also to so use that wearable antenna in a we are trying to do wearable power transfer concept, rect antenna concept. We are trying to implement all those things or trying to try to implement and one or two work is in process. Those work I have not shown there. So in future, maybe we are using or we are trying to use work in 5G as well as other things using wearable concept. Okay. So beauty of this work is that wearable that cotton substrate or our body wearable, whatever we are wear, a shirt or jeans pant so those particular substrate we are used to try to design and that particular antenna so that is the things so you can also do some work based on these things very easy way you can do and also the things is very cost is very less okay if any issue will come you can uh, contact with me my mail id and other things i will share with uh, this ppt but sir you can ask sir and so from these things i want to conclude today lecture if any question will come i will take okay. so thank you class sir for inviting me speaker and i will try to deliver the maximum things whatever i know in my this journey what research work journey and about two uh, already four five years i spent in this research and i'm trying to do something so in future so I will try to meet and share my things. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Has any questions? So hmm. you can ask. Uh, Hello, am I audible, sir? Yes, sir. Hold on, sir. Please. Hmm. But can you tell me, sir, how you uh, fabricated the variable antenna on the jeans? Uh, the metallic part how you put actually sir uh, that uh, okay then, uh, we are using sir first uh, that um, uh, what, uh, particular variable substrate we cut it in our asm direction okay whatever the direction we are needed 60 by 100 meter okay then we paste some uh, metal sheets sir in amazon we are placing that metal sheet okay uh, copper sheet then uh, we are using uh, that printer uh, print or print uh, paper we print our particular design for our 2mm tmm 
and we placed it using fabrical okay and then we cut it for using by these things uh, by blade and others okay i'll share sir one video here i mentioned it in details okay all the things now so uh what the effect that uh, you uh, even on the right side uh in this case sir uh, for the person to person Hmm. The body of the body and everything is a different. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So how this can be modified? Because sir, uh, for part, person to person and other things are different, sir. I means the things will be changes human body and others. That's why whenever we try to design our basic antenna, we try to uh, increase its performance as more as possible. Means in terms of S one one or in terms of gain. So be as more as possible. Means if S one one is minus forty dB or minus thirty dB, and bandwidth is also high, then also person to person effect you can use for different person. Then also that bandwidth is not deteriorated. But the in the there is a shift in the resonant frequency because of the body part. Uh huh. There is a shift, sir. But yeah, we are trying to maximum is uh, we are trying to get more bandwidth in that particular range in our working range. So that if any shifted also, then also no performance will be not affected. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, sir, there is two more questions from the participant. How the effect of the wearable antenna on our health? Ha ha. Wearable antenna is effect, sir, in our health also. That's why India government did not give permission till now. The process is going on, but we are trying to reduce the effect. I mentioned it now. We are using some gap or uh, material, or or we can use some meta surface based structure. Okay. So though if any whatever the radiation will come to body, uh, in between body and our that particular antenna, we will use some meta surface uh, type of structure reflector. And whatever the radiation will come in the body, it will reflect in in the upper direction, and try to reduce the body. Those works are going on, sir, till now. In future, also, if any work I will do, then I will share with you people the data surface based reflector and reduction of SAR also. Okay. Uh, huh. For one more question, uh, this is a metallic antenna, but uh, huh. in most standard GPS antenna is. Of the ceramic, so it is possible to make the wearable ceramic antenna. Ah, uh, sir, yes. Here we are using that metallic antenna, but here we are using substrate wearable. So you can use different substrate also, ceramic and other substrate also. But that substrate you can check it in your body and others. Okay, if you use that clothing substrate, then it is easy to bend, and that is also we are using. So, but whenever ceramic and other things will come, then you will face some difficulties, sir. Whenever we will want to place because it is not bended easily, and other issue will come. So, whenever we will try to design those things because our human body, uh, sir also mentioned another sir, go to Makanya sir. So, our person to person the things will be vary. So, ceramic substrate and other substrate, whenever you will design, and those substrate will place problem because bending and other issue will come. But you can try, sir. Okay. So uh, one more question: How the wearable antenna is different than the other antenna? So wearable antenna, wearable antenna means we are trying to implement those things in wearable body area network. Yes, sir. Wearable body area network application. We are trying to implement this wearable condition. Means human body will comes this part. Okay. Other antenna, whenever we are trying to design the mobile antennas. And other antennas, then those human body interactions as well as SAR also affect. We are not seeing that much particularly. We are not seeing the bending human body condition, then uh, uh, human body parameters also not that much because those things are not connected directly to the human body. So uh, it is not facing that much problem. But whenever the variable it is come, it is directly placed in the human body. So that's why the things are changes. So that is a different basic difference. Okay. So, any other questions from the participant? Uh, okay. So, we are conclude here.
uh, on the behalf of uh, gset uh, graduate school of engineering and Te uh, technology i thank to saurav sir who spared uh, his valuable time during the weekend uh, and uh, shared his uh, valuable knowledge to gtu students and faculty members uh, thank you sir uh, thank you sir participants <laughs> and uh, faculty of uh, gtu and outside the gtu who has joined this uh, what uh, our webinar on the wearable antenna i thank you all the participants and uh, faculty members thank you all uh, so we are uh, closing this session here thank you okay, everyone sir. thank you sir thank you sir